Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard. In this example, it says if the probability of passing a practical driving test in Auckland is 80%, uh, what is the probability that um, uh, at most four of the next eight land drivers will pass their driving test? I've already done this uh, part uh, in my previous video. If you haven't already, please do check that one out. In this video, I'll be uh, looking at the second part to the problem. And the second part says, uh, uh, what is the probability that at least five of the next um, eight learner drivers will pass their driving test? We've already looked at uh, this uh, in our previous video. So I will list them here. And uh, the detailed explanations were given in my previous video. Please do check that one out. And uh, the answer to the first uh, problem was 0 0.05628. Uh, so we'll have a look at the uh, second part to this problem. What is the probability that uh, at least five of the next eight linear drivers will pass their practical driving test? So at least in this case means five or more, and five or more means uh, greater than or equal to five. So that takes uh, all, all the discrete uh, values between 0 and 8, and it's greater than or equal to 5. So we'll have 5, 6, 7, and 8. Why I'm stopping at 8? Because we were told that there were um, 8 uh, linear drivers. So greater than or equal to 5 means 5, 6, 7, and 8. Before we use the graphics calculator, please note that it only accepts uh, less than or equal to. That's how it's programmed. And in this case, we, we want the values uh, for uh, greater than or equal to 5. So we need to strategize. And we already know that uh, the total probabilities will never exceed 1. So the total probability will always uh, be 1. So using this logic, we know that uh, probability of uh, x greater than or equal to 5 will be same as 1 minus probability that it is uh, less than equal to 4. So what that means is that uh, all the probabilities between 0 and 8 will add up to 1. And uh, because the calculator is only uh, accepting the values less than equal to, so if I manage to find the values uh, between 0 and 4, that means 4 or less, if I know this value, and if I go 1 minus this value here, will give me the uh, value that I'm after, which will give you the solution for uh, x uh, greater than or equal to 5. We've already done uh, less than or equal to 4 in our previous problem. So we know that um, using VCD, when x is equal to 4, calculator will read that as less than or equal to 4, n value of 8 and 0 0.8. 8 is the probability. So I'll quickly show you how we can uh, use the um, graphics calculator. We'll go to um, stats mode and then we'll click F5 to select the distribution and then we're looking for binomial distribution so F5 again and in this case we are looking for a cumulative distribution um, because we are finding a full range of values and then we'll select um, BCD which is the cumulative distribution and then we'll enter the X value in this case will be 4 and that will uh, and the calculator will take that as uh, less than or equal to 4 number of trials we had uh, 8 uh, learner drivers so that's 8 probability of success is 0 0.8 and if I Press enter that gives you the uh, probability when it's uh, less than or equal to uh, uh, 4. Now, using this information, we can uh, calculate the actual probability that we are after. Remember, the question says uh, probability when x is greater than or equal to 5. So that gives you a probability when x is uh, greater than or equal to 5 is same as 1 minus. 0 0.05628 and this is the probability we get uh, on the graphics calculator when we put the x value 4 and 8 and probability of 0 0.8 now once i've got that then i will quickly subtract the two so this is equal to 0 0.9437 then we answer the question in context so we can say that the probability that at least five of the next uh, eight lane drivers will pass the practical driving test is uh, 0 0.9437 
hope this makes sense i would suggest if you can uh, pause the video and uh, try and do these uh, yourself what you will need to be familiar with is uh, the keywords that are associated with the inequalities and also take note that um, calculator only accepts uh, less than or equal to so if you're finding the values uh, which are greater than or equal to i'd suggest if you can draw a number line and uh, try and trade in the uh, value that you are finding and that way you will be able to see what uh, x value you will need to type in on your graphics calculator when you're finding the um, actual probability a common mistake is uh, when it says greater than equal to five students use x value of five not four so drawing this number line you will be able to hopefully see that five was included in the top interval that means that uh, the uh, maximum x value here will be 4. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.